Every time I hear about Septon Bose, it gives me goosebump. It's happening 100 years back. Of when Dhaka was not really quite a city, it's just a township. Hardly electricity, some gas lamps on the street. Hardly any traffic, unlike the traffic you see here. No traffic at all. A university was born. What a lucky thing to happen. And there was no internet, no WhatsApp, no telephone, nothing. An isolated place you could ever imagine from the rest of the world. But it did not deter Sittenbos to be part of the world. It dared. There was no Google to beat. it. Didn't know what is happening. A mail was a snail mail. Didn't move. So that's the context in which all the things that we are talking about. And what's a daring man? He didn't feel that he's any less than anybody else in the world. Coming from a tiny little place which hardly had any facility for him to share with anybody else. Even my studenthood, which is much later, quarter of a century later, Dhaka University is a statistics student struggling with the machine, turning the handle to find in the correlational coefficient or whatever, for hours and hours, which could be done in split seconds now. So we are talking about it much earlier than that. So that's an environment where Satan Bos dared the whole world. So that's what I wanted to pay respect to, the spirit of it. First, the knowledge and tenacity to pursue knowledge. And the best of it, the audacity to raise the hand. You see, here it is, to the world. So that defines Dhaka University. We are proud of the Dhaka University. That makes me come here and shout. This is where our beginning was. This is where we're born with. Defiance, excellence. And the rest of the history is the legacy of what we begin with. So what pains me right now is being part of the government we should have been celebrating certain both nationally, not just by department or university. This is our legacy of our knowledge, how we pursue knowledge, so that we inspire our young people. This is a national event, not a local event, not a departmental or university-wide event. This is a celebration of pursuit of knowledge and defining the frontier of knowledge which he did. This would be a celebration of all academic institutions, because this is what we are. This is our history. This is our tradition. This is our legacy. This is what we have to uphold, go farther than that. Not just remember what was been achieved and sleep then. So that's the challenge that we are missing out to our young people telling that this is the legacy that we hand over to you, to build the, the legacy further up the line. I hope celebration of centenary for Satya and Bose will not end here. 
I hope it will be the beginning here. It's not physics department achievement. It's our academic achievement. It's our national achievement. We should be owning it. The other thing, push down, push down, push down. Okay, okay, cousin Hall, that's your, your job. It's not your job. It's our job as a nation. Every part of it. So that we can stand tall. Today we have the, all the technology of the world. But we don't have the spirit of Septembos. So that, that's the missing point I feel very strongly about. I hope we'll wake up as a nation and post this big towers that we have on our history and feel inspired. We have, to, we have history to live up to. Wherever we go, Sutton Bos was here in Dhaka in this tiny sleepy little town, but he's challenging the whole world. He's writing to the top man of the physics. He didn't hesitate, he didn't feel small to him because he was confident in what he was doing. He said he could be wrong. So that is the spirit, the academic spirit, we hold together and we should celebrate that legacy and take it on from there on. So I hope Sutton Bose will remain alive in us, not for a day, for every day. And I want to thank you for inviting me to say this few words.